Hi, Vinny. How's it going, Mark? Just fine, thanks. And uh, it's a chance to get some exercise and to look at a demonstration of technology. We've got the dance revolution set up behind us, and we're going to give it a whirl and, and learn uh, about how the data acquisition and the FPGAs are, are integrated with, with the game. So tell us about it. Basically, we're able to use FPGAs to do multiple things running in parallel. And in particular, we decided to create a nice demo doing video and audio, as well as digital communication with these dance sensor pads. And so what we can do here is start up selecting a song. And really what we're doing is all the timing and triggering for communicating with these dance pads, and then the actual video generating using VGA signals. So I can unplug this here. And you can see that we're actually generating the video all on a single board on an FPGA, as well as the audio. We have digital analog converters on there that we're able to stream, stream audio, stream WAV files on, and uh, as well as communicate with a custom communication using these dance sensor pads. And basically, you get instructions on which arrow to step on at what time for the song, and uh, and then all the scoring also happens on the FPGA as well. So as and when you hit an arrow, you can see that the the timing figures out exactly which, which player is winning, which one is being more accurate. And, uh, and all of that's running in parallel because we can use the FPGA fabric to, uh, to do multiple tasks at the same time and get tight timing and synchronization. So we'll try that number three, okay. DAC attack. All right, good. <laughs> ready to start, ready? Yep. So you can see once the arrow reaches the, uh, the top, Yeah, the nice thing about FPGA is you can figure out exactly what the timing is like between when the sensor pad is hit and when the arrow hits the screen. We can get microsecond resolution and score player one and player two based on that difference. And so it's nice use of technology here. It's all written in LabVIEW. Not bad. Nice job. Very good.